Hello everyone, this is Ian Lamont, author of Dropbox in 30 Minutes, and today I'm going to show you how to use the collaboration features on your Dropbox app using an iOS device, in this case an iPhone. And basically we'll get started by tapping the Dropbox icon on the home screen. And this takes me to the Files menu, which actually shows a top level view of all the folders that I have. Now let's say that I have a folder, let's say Home 2016, and I want to say and I want to share this with somebody I know. So if you look on the side of the screen, on the right side you'll see a little icon that looks like a circle with an arrow pointing down. Tap that and then it will show the name of the folder. The first choice is invite people to collaborate. The second choice is send link. Now if, if I did send link, that would basically create a public link that I could send to anybody or post on my social media and anybody could take a look at what's inside the folder and I don't want to do that. What I do want to do is I want to invite people to collaborate. So I'm going to choose that. And basically what's going to happen is I'm going to get a prompt to tell Dropbox who I want to share it with. Now I can type in the name and it will try to match it against the uh, email addresses I may have already associated with my Dropbox account. Or I can just start typing in an email address itself. And that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to share this with Nicole. And uh, her address is Nicole at i30media.com. Okay. And then I'm going to say return. Okay. And then I can type a message. And I'm going to just use the dictation feature on the iPhone. Hello, Nicole. Here is the folder that I wanted to share with you. Period. Thanks. Comma. Ian. And then below that is the options that I can use to share it. So for this person, Nicole, I can give her the option to edit it by default. But if I want to change it, I would just tap it and change it to view. And why would I want to just change it from edit to view? Well, let's say that I want to show show a folder or a file to somebody, but I don't want them to mess around with it. I would just do the, the view option. And then there's another important thing below that, folder permissions. Who can manage membership? People with edit permissions. So right now, because Nicole only has view permissions, she can't, she can't share that with anybody else. But let's say that I had uh, Nicole, Nicole had the ability to edit this folder. And, but I didn't want her to share it with other people. And basically what who can manage membership means is that if a, another person who's collaborating on the folder who I invite, they can share it with somebody else too. And if I don't want them to do that, I would select only me. Okay. So right now, if I say people with edit permissions, that means Nicole can share it with anybody she wants. But if I want to restrict that, I'll just say only me. Go back. And then when I'm done, tap the invite link. In the top, you'll get a prompt that it's sharing folder, and the folder shared. So that's how you use that particular feature of the Dropbox mobile app on iOS devices, and that includes the iPhone and the iPad. For more information on how to get the most out of Dropbox, check out my book, Dropbox in 30 Minutes, available from in30minutes.com. Thanks for watching.